Okay, you guys, so just real quick, I want to show you um, how I'm finding these fish, and then we'll get to uh, showing you a few of the catches. But um, So I ran over a little pod of smallmouth with my sonar, and then I went ahead and dropped a waypoint on the sonar, and then I switched back to the chart, and now I'm just fishing the little spot that I, uh, you know, the little mark that I marked. So I'll show you how I did that. Okay, so this is one of the less expensive units. Um which a lot of people use. So what I did is uh, you can see um, I'm on top of these smallmouth right now. And th the way you decipher if these are smallmouth is the orange. You can see the orange bellies. Those are the smallies. And you can see there's a pretty good amount of them here. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your, uh, your cursor here and you're going to go where you want to drop it. So there's, you know, I'm going to find the thickest part of the fish here that I see, which is... They look like they're in about anywhere from 15 to 40 feet. Um, but if I wanted to mark that right there, where you know the thickest part of the color is right there, I just hold down that. That's going to pop up, and then I can change the icon. I can give it a name. I just put SM so I know it's uh, my small mouth spot. And then after you do that, and you put your waypoint, everything you want, you're going to switch back over to your chart, and then you can see my point is right there so now all I got to do is line my boat up with that mark and cast to that point and then when you switch back you can kind of see why they're here too there's an island right here there's a huge drop off right here and as soon as it drops all the way off all the way off and then you can see right here how it starts to smooth out and kind of flatten they're all sitting right there and they're probably doing that just so they can run to this point and they can suspend up and down on this point or they can run up and eat they can do a lot of things and they can corral uh, bait fish right here as well so um, that's a good tip on how to uh, you know mark a spot and and be able to fish that spot without sitting on top of it so I you know I did run over it but I ran over it like 10 15 minutes ago um, I put a, a point there and now I can just turn my boat around aim at that point and cast all right so let's see what happens the first thing I'm going to go ahead and use is this uh, Bass Angler Bait Co underspin and um, I ordered more eyes. These eyes are too big for the bait, but it's not that big of a deal for now. So I'm going to throw this out and just friggin' crawl it. I got it on 8-pound test. That's the uh, Seaguar Blue Label. And uh, I'm going to be using my Halo uh, Twilight fishing rod here. This is my spinning rod. And I got a uh, uh, loose uh, spinning reel there too as well. So, And it's one of the smaller reels. Like the... Uh, I don't know, 2,500, something like that. But you can see, you know, this is where that mark is right here. And there's nothing there. I mean, you can see I'm just fishing out in the middle of nowhere. No one would really know where that spot is unless they have, you know, um, previous knowledge of the lake. Maybe it's been uh, empty before and they, they saw that mark there. But it doesn't mean that there's um, always going to be fish there. So I got the mark. I'm going to go ahead and make some casts and we'll see what happens. So we'll be right back.